No, you ready? The happiest moment of my life. Yeah. Was the day I got married. <laughs> so what was the saddest moment of your life? The day I married him. <laughs> I'm 29 years married, huh? Probably the best moment of my life was winning the Kilkenny Rose in 2012 because um, that led to loads of different opportunities. Streets of London, homeless, happy though, really happy. Um, just walking around, uh, sunshine every day, I think it was 95, 96 and it was my first year out of uni and it was brilliant. The best and most happiest time of my life is when I won the lottery for 10 million dollars. I went on holidays to Spain and um, we had this house on a beach and just waking up in the morning and coming out and stepping onto the sand was just the happiest moment in my life. Um, my fiance woke me up one morning and went down to Newgrange just before the solstice and he had the ring and everything ready and as the sun was coming up through the solstice for the window box, um, he asked me to marry him. The happiest point of my life yeah. was when I met her the first time. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. moment of our lives when we got married three weeks ago. <laughs> I was happy that moment when I say yes to uh, for my wife, you know? Getting my dog. Um, the day I started skateboarding. Uh, but the happiest time in my life in Kilkenny was last year before Christmas when I went into a shop called um, Hello Again. And I was talking with the owner about fashion and everything, so I got my dream job there. Out in the, the lovely fields and nature and uh, the animals and everything made natural. Maybe when I was in college and I was nearly going to get kicked out and it was my last chance and I had to do 10 exams and three 6,000 word essays in four weeks and I did it. That was one of my life definitely would have been a little over 12 years ago. It was when my son was born, and I was there for the birth. So, um, kind of that first little cry and the first little movements, you know, as he was brought out, and then seeing him being handed to his mum. Most definitely, you know, realizing I was someone important and I was someone special now because I was a dad. I was needed. I was, you know, that was by far and away the happiest of my life. The happiest time of my life. Has, has to be to do with my own family, both where I was reared in New Park, up past Bally Buck Street, and now living in James's Green. Well, hold on, the happiest moment of my life? Yeah. Um, when I held this little girl in my arms. When my first niece born, and my wedding day. That's it. What about finding out? <laughs> yeah, exactly, also. <laughs> <laughs> also that, yeah. It was heartbreaking to hear that my parent, my grandparents passed away. But then, when my sister was born, I felt really happy because then I'd have someone to share good moments with, I suppose. Did your sister here? Yeah. yeah when, when Kilkenny got knocked out of the All-Ireland Championship this year, it was this, definitely the saddest moment in my year this year. It's a song called Nobody's Child. When I sing it, I feel sad, but everyone seems to like it. Well, we went to buy um, blinds in, um, what's the name of that shop there? It's Finishing, Finishing Touches. Touches. Yeah, and yeah. I didn't know the proprietor, and when I gave my name to pay for the blinds, it ended up that um, he knew my father very well and had done business with him for years. So it was um, a really nice connection with Kilkenny and with the people in Kilkenny and brought back some uh, fun memories of me for my uh, of my father who had died uh, six years ago. Saddest moment I've seen my sister for the first time and I had to say goodbye. Why? Um, I was adopted to Ireland and my sister was adopted to America and she found me over Facebook and it, I, had, I said hello to her for the first time at the airport and it was really emotional. So. The saddest moment is when my mother passed away but I was holding her hand. And you know what? I guess I was happy to be there holding her hand. So I guess it's the saddest moment and the happiest moment of my life so far. Cherish the moment 
every every minute counts and it's just make the best out of every minute. And then when the light bulb goes on when you're trying to learn something or you didn't get it for ages and then suddenly you get it and it's like oh, it's a brilliant feeling. Uh, so yeah, I got off the bus the other day in Dublin and it was lashing rain, had my hood up, headphones in, hat down, walking along, bang, head first into a tree, then proceeded to get into a fight with its branches, entertaining the countless masses on the way to class. This old man in Dublin turned to me on the bus going, a bird is known by its song, and I'm a gentleman by his conversation. <laughs> let me go, let me ride over land and the country that I love. Don't fence me in. Let me go. La, 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 la. I, I lost the words now. <laughs> don't fence me in. La, la, la. Do you know the words of that? I don't know the words, but I know uh, the yeah. tune is lovely and, and, and lovely. Don't fence me in. Yeah, let me yeah. go. Let me ride over yeah. the country I love. <laughs> it's uh, the American, you know, yeah. the cowboys. Yeah, you're full of life, you know that?